It was just a couple weeks ago when a jury found former Temple police officer Carmen De Cruz not guilty in the shooting death of Michael Dean. The case hinged on the body camera footage that De Cruz wore that night, but our open records request for that video has been denied. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander joins us now in studio live with more on how the video's release might really be up to the Dean family. Adriana, tell us more. Well, Chris and Lindsay, the most examined evidence in the De Cruz trial was that body camera footage. It was played for anyone in the courtroom to see, but what's hindering it from being available for the rest of the public? It was just over two weeks ago when a jury found former Temple police officer Carmen DeCruz not guilty for the shooting death of Michael Dean. Body camera footage worn by DeCruz was played during trial for the public, but Temple attorneys aren't allowing the public to get a copy. The city is subject to the Texas Public Information Act. This means the city is generally required to release records they have when the public asks for it, unless a specific exception to disclosure applies. Six News legal expert Liz Mitchell explains how the not guilty verdict is playing a large role in the city withholding this footage. Although the, the video was shown in the courtroom, there are laws that allow city governments to withhold the video because the video and investigation did not result in a conviction. In this case, the city believes the video falls under an exemption implemented by the Supreme Court. This exemption is when a surviving family member may have a personal privacy right in the death scene images of a close family member. If so, they can raise an objection to the release of those images. But even if the family decides to approve releasing the footage, the city can still withhold releasing the footage because of that not guilty verdict. If the family or next of kin does not object to the video being released and the agency is willing to release the video, then it will be released. Usually, you know, it kind of starts with the agency and because the case didn't result in a conviction, they could technically keep it from public view. Now, the Dean family was sent a detailed letter from city attorneys informing them that the body camera footage showing Michael Dean being shot is being requested by the public. They have less than five days to respond with a written argument if they do not want the video to be released. Guys, we'll see if we ever get to see this footage for sure. Yeah, Adrian, it's very complicated. I'm glad you broke it down for us. Liz's explanation was terrific, but again, you're right. It's like when, if at all, are we going to get to see this video? And a lot of people want to see it so they can have answers for themselves. Adriana, thank you so much.